Welcome back to Breast of Campus. We're going to go a bit into the idea of the seven candles that Rabbi Nachman talks about. These seven candles are guarding the seven apertures of the face, of the head. The two ears, the two eyes, the two nostrils, and the mouth. Guarding them, meaning not to listen to slander and to, yes, listen to the words of the sages of the Torah. The eyes, not to see bad, not to see immoral pictures. And to, yes, guard your eyes. Yes, to look at people with a good eye. The nostrils, taking, having patience, taking a deep breath, not getting angry. And the mouth, obviously, not to speak slander and gossip. And to, yes, speak a lot of words of Torah. <clears throat> Rabbi Nachman teaches that by guarding these seven candles, a person merits internalizing levels of intellect which are presently beyond him. They're above his level. He has not yet properly sanctified himself enough that these higher levels should become internalized. And by working on himself, by working on these seven apertures, these seven midot of the seven candles, he merits internalizing what's waiting for him, the next levels. And Ibn Ahmad also teaches these new levels waiting to be internalized, they must be born. They are hidden from a person. Even the knowledge that they exist is hidden. <clears throat> Rabbi Nachman teaches that a person has to scream a lot and cry out to Hashem, asking Hashem to guide him, asking Hashem to open my eyes, guide me what to do, how to get out of my frustrations, my confusions, how to develop deeper insight in the Torah. I feel so detached and disconnected from what I'm learning. I feel it's not doing the proper job in shaping me, in purifying me, in sanctifying me, in bringing me closer. By screaming out and crying out to Hashem, you give birth, quote-unquote, to these new levels, and then by sanctifying the seven candles, you internalize them. What if you have a scenario that the person is doing his part in crying out to Hashem, but he feels so blemished in his seven candles, he feels, I'm never going to have anything internalized. If the way, the only way to internalize what's waiting for me is by sanctifying my seven candles, and it's not working, I see my eyes are not 100% kosher, my ears also are not kosher, my nose, my anger, my, my mouth, my gossip, my speech, it's not kosher. And nothing is coming in if that's the case. So what to do? So the idea is, it's not an all or nothing deal. It's not like you have to have all the seven candles or you don't get anything. Every little drop of good that you do in guarding your eyes, in guarding the ears, guarding the nose, guarding the mouth, even if afterwards you do fall and stumble, still commensurate to how much you did good in guarding your seven candles, a bit of the next intellect, the transcendent level of intellect, a bit, parts of it do become internalized. When they become internalized, your mind is strengthened. So even if having a fall and a crash and guarding the seven eyes, the seven candles, sorry, the seven apertures, you want to start again, you have an additional strength in your mind to control the seven candles because you have internalized newer levels of intellect to be a part of you so you have more strength now to start again. Even if I crash, sometimes I'll crash even more than before. That's always like Rabbi Nachman teaches in Lesson 25 is an indication that you're going up. You're not going down. When it gets harder, it's because you're getting closer. That's the whole thing. It gets harder because you're onto a treasure, you're onto something good, and not to be misled by, by, by mis mixed messages that, oh, this is a sign that I'm far, I'm no good, and it's just not working out, and I should just stop trying for so many, so many years already. Let me j I just see it's getting worse and worse. It's not getting worse and worse because you're getting closer. If we were, weren't getting closer, the, the hardship wouldn't have been more, would not be more difficult. So the idea is you do what you can, you do your best, because and, and every drop of guarding your ears, guarding your eyes, guarding your nose, guarding your mouth, lighting even a bit of the seven candles, all that brings, internalizes bits and pieces of what's out there to come in. Ideally, we should light the, all the seven candles. But just like when you're lighting a menorah, you light candle one by one. At the end, all the seven candles shine. But I lit a candle. That's something. And even if afterwards, God forbid, it gets extinguished, but it was lit for a while, for a day, for two days, until I stumbled again, but it was lit. And that lighting of any of the apertures makes a difference that Hashem allows you to, yes, advance, commensurate to what you did, the next level, next levels of intellect are internalized. 
so that Bezat Hashem, you have something new inside of you and you are advancing. So the bottom line is not to be broken, not to be discouraged by when you see that I tried, I tried, I tried and I fell, and I try again and I fell, and the failing is, seems to be more than the trying, you must keep on trying. It's a battle. And eventually, when Hashem opens the doors, we are told and promised by the tzaddikim that we will make it. And not to pay attention at all on what you see. Ah, he fell. He's much better than me. And he crashed. So all the more so than I'm going to fall. Don't look at other people. Don't compare. You are a different world. They're a different world. There's nothing to compare on battle battlefields and battlegrounds you have a different purpose different neshama and it could be your perspective also is distorted when you see how the other person is handling and doing things you don't see the full picture so therefore it's to point blank cover your eyes to look forward and to value every every effort and even if you hear these teachings thousands of times and you may say ah it doesn't apply to me it doesn't apply to me the answer is it does apply to you it's a new day, it's a new start, a new beginning. Get up, do what you can. And don't be discouraged in saying of what value it is, because anyways, Hashem doesn't care about me. Chas v'shalom, God forbid, to entertain such thoughts.